two and a half years ago, my friend Peggy uh, was talking to me about a project she was interested in that was using plastic bags to make mats for people that don't have beds. And I could not imagine what she was talking about. I thought, how can a mat out of plastic bags, you know, be of use? She's a good friend to me. I said, okay, let's find out what this is about. I'm a member of Virginia Highland Church and that seemed like a good place to be setting us up. And Virginia Highland Church gave us um, a little room uh, which we now stuff full of bags and boxes of bags. Um, and we meet twice a month. The mission of Virginia Highland Church is based on Micah 8, which is to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. And what I love about the Mad Makers is that they fulfill each of the three things that our mission sees as vital. This is the session that meets at Peggy's house. And a lot of the folks here are her neighbors, but there's a few of us from the church as well. They meet once a month and just sit around her big table and, and work on the mats. There's four stages to working on this. Each stage is very easy to learn, very easy to teach. The first stage is taking your clean bags and flattening them. Slice off the top and the bottom. And then there's two different ways to do it. What we have been doing is slicing it into four segments so it's like a loop like then you take those loops and you start chaining them together and then finally the crocheting of all these different stages some people only do one or two we really haven't had somebody doing a whole mat on their own very often but that can be done too and it can be done at home when we have a new volunteer come in you know we kind of walk them through what the steps are and we just ask them you know what do you feel most comfortable doing so most people start out flattening. Take 600 bags to make a mat, and that keeps them under the landfill. They roll up and we make a long loop that will act as a carry strap and also to keep it from falling apart. Pretty much as soon as we would finish one, we'd put it down in the room that the river uses for storage, um, and they would be gone, you know, they would be given out immediately. One of the reasons why I love the Mad Matter so much is because they really live out the things they say they believe. They go and take their mission outside the walls of the church. They teach people in different congregations and in different neighborhoods about what they do and what they believe. And they are spreading the good news to all in our community. So we pretty much funnel everything through, through the river. It's worse sort of an adjunct part of the river ministry. They go every Saturday to True Worship Church over on the west side of Atlanta, and they never have any problem finding people that want them. Many of them are homeless, as in sleeping on the street. We have heard from someone who works with many, many homeless people, and she said during the most recent freezing spell, she believes that having a mat to sleep on may have kept some people alive. So we've given out about 60 mats and we're setting ourselves a goal to be completing and get, giving out two mats a month. With more volunteers, we can do that. Um, we have about 65 people on our mailing list. Um, we typically have between five and 10 people on a Saturday and they come from many different Places. Some of them are our friends, some of them, a lot of them are members of the church. Where we set up in the church is the waiting room for the music schools. And we've had parents and even children from the music schools help us when they're there. And so now they're starting to kind of, you know, oh, first Saturday they'll be there, which is really fun. Where we really need more. We need more hands. We don't need more bags. We have so many bags to use up. Um, but it really is easy. You can even take things home. We've just started making to-go bags so that people can take um, the different stages home and just work with them while you're watching TV or whatever. When we look at these mats, especially we go back and look at the pictures of the ones that we've made over time, it just makes me feel so good because each mat is a message from us to people we may never know. 
that we care about you and we want your life to be better even in this one small way. So it makes me feel really good.